what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i don't even know how i'm supposed to start this video you guys but as y'all can see by the title in today's video it's not a joke or anything guys it's not a prank my dad passed away um <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was ready to record this video, like, it has been almost four months. And I thought that by now, I'd be ready to talk about it, but... It's been almost four months. And it feels like it was just yesterday that we got the news. I wanted to come on here and talk about this because... As you guys know, like, I've been away from YouTube for months now, and my dad was a big supporter of me doing YouTube. He would come out in my videos, as you guys could probably see from my previous vlogs, and I haven't been on YouTube for 10 months, maybe. And the last vlog that I recorded that I never uploaded, well, not the last one, but the one that was supposed to be uploaded next was my dad's birthday vlog. I still want to upload the videos that I like recorded, but I just, it's so hard for me to get on my computer and edit the videos that my dad is in. I was a daddy's girl, you guys, <laughs> and this has been really hard on myself and my family. My dad passed away on July 11th of this year, 2023. It's now October 27th when I'm recording this video. I wanted to like just share this with share this video because again like I said my dad was a big part of my life he was a big supporter of mine with the whole YouTube thing and I want to continue to do YouTube now like in his honor as well you know and This year for my birthday, he shared a post to Facebook and he wrote, May you achieve all your goals. I really, like, I'm trying to not cry. Like, I really am trying not to cry. I don't want to make this video all about crying. But, and my mom, you guys, my mom, it has hit her the worst, like, she spent 40 years of her life with him, that was her first boyfriend, her only boyfriend, my mom and my dad got together when she was 16, my dad was 17. That's all she ever knew. <laughs> Everywhere you saw him, you saw her, vice versa. And now he's gone. I don't know, I just pressed record and I just wanted to record and like just put it out there so that I can get back to recording videos because I know my dad would be happy for me it's just never gonna be the same my niece's quinceanera was on September 30th and we were missing 
a very important part of our family there. Everybody was united, our, our entire family, from her mom's side of the family and from her dad's. We were just missing my dad. I did vlog her quinceanera, but I haven't vlogged in so long that that video was all over the place, guys. Again, I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know what happened. It's hard because, like, as time goes on, like, you kind of feel guilty for starting to live, like, a normal life again, which I know that, like, everyone says, you know, he would want to see you be happy and, like, live a normal life. But I just don't want him to feel like we're forgetting about him or that we miss him any less, you know. I started a new job recently. I moved back home to be with my mom. She needs me. I just want to ask you guys to continue to keep us in your prayers. It's been almost four months, but the pain. It's the same as the first day. Even though, like, you know, now we're, like, finally starting to kind of, you know, like, associate more with people. Like, me and my mom at first, like, we didn't want to go nowhere. We, we didn't want to know anything about nothing, like, and I still don't. Like, my friends, you know, they tried to get me to go out with them, and I feel so bad that, like, I have to diss or, like, turn them down so many times. But I just haven't felt ready to talk to anybody, to do anything. But I did start a job recently. And ever since I started my new job, I have been trying to keep myself busy. Or I have been more busy, so like, I'm starting to feel a little bit okay, but, you know, it's like every night, I think about him like on the weekends, it's, I know he'd be so happy to see us finally going to church. When my dad was here, he would always tell me, to go to church with him and I just wouldn't go and since his passing I kind of made a promise to go to church every Sunday and I haven't missed and we go visit his grave every Sunday after church and sometimes during the week I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. I'm just talking. I just ask that you guys keep me and my family in your prayers as we're going through this difficult time, as we're grieving the loss of my dad. He was an amazing man. And I know people knew that. He treated me like a princess. He always did. I was a daddy's girl. I was his only, his only girl. He was only 60 years old, guys. But I know God and my dad are gonna help us. They have been helping us get through this. I pray to God every day to help us get through this to heal our hearts also just to think of the holidays coming up like nothing's ever gonna be the same like my life's never gonna be the same without my dad But that's it, you guys. I just, I'm sorry if I rambled on. I haven't really, like, talked to anybody 
and I kind of just feel like I'm talking to someone right now. I try not to cry like a lot in front of my mom especially because I have to be strong for her. But especially like earlier when I got off work. I created a playlist with sad songs. I know that may sound crazy to some people, but I don't know. I feel like that makes me, like, obviously it makes me sad and it makes me cry, but sometimes I feel like I just have so much, like, built up that I just want to cry. So I'll start playing my playlist and I'll just let it all out. And that's what I did earlier. I just let it on out. But I try to do it on my own time. On my own. I try to be strong for my family. Anyways. That's it, you guys. I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on and ask for your prayers and I do plan on continuing to post because I know my dad would be proud of me and he would want me to continue thank you for being patient and thank you for staying till the end